The cardiovascular system at its centre has the heart. And as you look at this diagram, the right side is actually the left side of the human body. That's drawn like that by convention. So we'll start off with the right atrium where venous blood is pooling in. This, when the heart squeezes, goes into the right ventricle and then is pushed up via the pulmonary artery to the lungs. Now arteries go to tissues and organs and an easy way to remember this is the letter T in artery for two. Whether the blood is oxygenated or deoxygenated depends on what is happening in the tissue and organ. For example the lungs are going to oxygenate the blood so in the pulmonary artery the blood is actually deoxygenated its purpose of going to the lungs is to be oxygenated. Having left the lungs, the blood travels via a pulmonary vein from the tissue or organ. You can think vein, four letter word, from. Once again, whether the blood is oxygenated or deoxygenated or not will depend upon what the tissue or organ is doing. The pulmonary vein drains into the left atrium and with the squeeze of the heart this goes into the left ventricle which is more thickened and muscular than the right ventricle because it has to push blood to the entire body. It does this via the aorta, the largest blood vessel in the body, which branches into arteries going to the head and arms and to other parts of the body such as the liver intestine, kidneys and legs. In the tissues and organs, metabolism is occurring, so food is being burnt with oxygen, so the arteries are carrying oxygenated blood. Blood leaving the tissues and organs, such as the kidneys and legs, is deficient in oxygen, it's deoxygenated, and travels via veins back to the vena cava, the largest vein in the body, to pull back into the right atrium of the heart.